Hello everyone, welcome to Buddha Zen Wisdom. We are here with you every day. The essence of life lies in how we relate to ourselves. Laozi said, He who understands others is intelligent, he who understands himself is enlightened. He who conquers others has strength, he who conquers himself is strong. Often, we learn how to get along with others harmoniously, yet we overlook the most important point, how to get along with ourselves. Only by conquering our own inner struggles and maintaining inner harmony can we truly attain peace and happiness. We've been taught many maxims on how to relate with others, yet we've forgotten the fundamental aspect, how to relate to ourselves. Those who cannot coexist peacefully with themselves will not succeed in getting along with others. We often speak of harmony between man and nature, or between man and society, but the most crucial harmony is within oneself. Our minds are full of endless desires and contradictions. Take a moment to look within, how many delusions continuously arise and fall, how many emotions entangle and persist. Amid these endless thoughts, we are like solitary boats tossed on the waves, sometimes pushed here, sometimes pulled there, with no peace. Only by learning how to live with ourselves can we maintain harmony in mind and body. Learning how to live with oneself is fundamental to life. Zhuangzi said that those who possess self-sufficiency are indeed precious. This self-sufficiency refers to independence, self-harmony, and self-perfection, meaning understanding how to live peacefully with oneself. On one hand, we must utilize our abilities to serve society and contribute to its development. On the other, we must cultivate self-sufficiency, keeping our own lives in a positive and harmonious state, and thus becoming wise individuals. The former reflects Confucian thought, while the latter embodies Taoist philosophy. Learning how to live with oneself, reconcile with solitude, and embrace the passage of time is a necessary journey for every person. It's a slow, nourishing process. So, how do we live peacefully with ourselves? 1. Recognize that solitude is unavoidable. Humans are social beings, and no one can exist without others. Yet, we are also innately alone. In the quiet of the night, deep in our hearts, we long for understanding, for acceptance. But despite countless acquaintances, true confidants are rare. Life's journey is like a train ride where we meet many people, some at the beginning, some midway, and some depart too soon. Many will part at the final station, each left as solitary mounds of earth. Loneliness is the norm of life, not everyone will understand or accept you, as each person's joys and sorrows differ, and their inner worlds vary. One may have many acquaintances but struggle to find a true kindred spirit. Without shared experiences and similar insights, who can genuinely empathize? Hui Shi, Zhuangzi's friend and frequent philosophical sparring partner, once lost this companion and described the solitude that followed. In the story, a man noticed a small speck of dirt on his nose, no larger than a fly. He asked a warrior to shave it off with his sword, and the warrior did so without harming him. Later, Duke Yuan of Song heard of this and asked the warrior to perform the same feat for him. The warrior replied that while he once could, his worthy partner had long since passed away. Indeed, no one can accompany us forever. Amid the hustle and bustle, it's easy to mistake it for the norm of life, yet solitude is life's true, eternal state. The best we can do is face solitude honestly, then find a way to better relate to ourselves. 2. Calmly accept and improve yourself. Zhuangzi said, to understand the inevitability of certain things and accept them as fate. No one is born knowledgeable, we grow from ignorance to understanding, from superficial knowledge to familiarity, mirroring the life process, birth, growth, maturity, and end. We all have flaws, disappointments, and challenges, they are part of life. Simply accepting these facts is deeply meaningful for us. Life is not about comparison or victory, it is about acceptance and improvement. Facing life's flaws and regrets with calmness is an essential path to growth. Reflect inwardly, examine yourself, understand your shortcomings, dreams, and direction, accept yourself, and continue improving, making your life a gift. 
how a person treats their time reflects their attitude toward life. In the limited and precious time we have, instead of seeking the approval of others, it's better to cultivate and refine ourselves. Loneliness is not terrifying, what's truly terrifying is wasting time, achieving nothing but weight gain and resentment. 3. Learn to endure solitude and enjoy being alone. Zhuangzi said, to commune with the spirit of heaven and earth while alone. Solitude can become a form of beauty. We don't have to be like a frightened person standing on the edge of a cliff, rather, we can find enjoyment in being alone. Solitude inevitably brings some loneliness, but precisely because of this, we have the opportunity to do what we love. Solitude is about having an unshakable core, a resilience rooted in one's energy, which brings a unique confidence. Both loneliness and solitude are challenging. More free time brings more boredom, but as long as the mind is filled with purpose, we can break down boredom day by day. No matter how unbearable a solitary life may feel, we must persevere until we can enjoy and be nourished by it. Only by reaching a truce with solitude will we be able to engage in life's livelier, bustling sides. 4. Let solitude become nourishment for your inner self. In old age, we often discover that all the lively interactions and companionship are fleeting. The only one who can stay with us forever is ourselves. Rather than relying on the external world for happiness, it's better to find fulfillment in solitude. Every moment of loneliness is an opportunity to pause, to look within, and to re-examine our true desires. Inner growth and self-improvement are not achieved overnight but are slowly cultivated in repeated experiences of solitude, much like waves sculpting the shoreline over time. Only through continuous self-reflection and confronting inner fears and desires can we attain genuine peace and happiness. In this era of restlessness, achieving harmony with oneself is a rare wisdom. As Xuanzi said, those who are self-sufficient are truly noble. Only those who find themselves in solitude are truly rich and strong. Perhaps in our old age, we finally realize that only inner harmony and self-acceptance can fill the final years of life with profound peace and abundant happiness. Let solitude nourish your inner self. Learn to find meaning in solitude, to grasp the wisdom of life, and thus face life's ups and downs without fear, greet each morning with a smile, and pass each evening in peace. Loneliness is not terrifying. The real terror is losing the ability to live harmoniously with oneself. May we each find peace and fulfillment in solitude, continue to grow, and enrich our hearts through it.